guys welcome back to today's video so I am finally going to be doing a tutorial and a little mini review on the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk eyeshadow palette I feel like so many people have come out with a review of this already I'm a little bit behind I actually picked mine up with a birthday gift card it is a pricier palette it's $65 so I'm super grateful I had that gift card because this is something I was definitely eyeing it was on my wish list so I'm gonna be creating this look today and I absolutely Oh, I love it. I love it so much and I can't wait for you guys to see it. So if you guys want to find out some of my thoughts on the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk eyeshadow palette, is it worth it? And also a tutorial on this eye look, then just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe if you guys have not yet. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you guys want to see what I think, just keep on watching. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, is this palette worth $65? That is a chunk of change very expensive for an eyeshadow palette we have like different tiers of eyeshadow palettes now it's like you have that really high Natasha Denona like over 100 then Huda Beauty is kind of falling like below that where it's still really pricey but it's not like Natasha Denona level and then you just have the other kind of eyeshadow palettes like you have Too Faced you have um, Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes which are kind of like 40 to 50 dollars usually so this is that like mid tier kind of range so here's the outer packaging really pretty reflective it says Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette this is like a raised type of font over here is the actual palette which I think is so so stunning so you have Huda space right here and it's all very like reflective and it changes colors when you move it and I think that is really awesome really different and I love the little like headpiece thing right here major major upgrade from her previous rose gold palette so I actually saved the outer packaging for Huda Beauty rose gold so here's Huda Beauty rose gold and here is the outer packaging for desert dusk so you can see the difference this one um, compared to this one look at the difference so you don't even get a mirror in here and then in this one I'm sure they listen to everyone's advice and put a mirror inside here so you get a nice big mirror as opposed to the rose gold palette which is also $65 but I think um, the packaging was not that impressive it feels a little bit more on the cheaper side so you are getting kind of an upgraded type of look that fits the price point better with Huda Beauty Desert Dusk so beautiful on the outside and then inside it comes with this little eye thing right here from Huda Beauty and I'm just wondering like how much did they pay for this per eyeshadow palette because if this cost a lot to put in I would have just honestly gotten rid of it because you already have her eyes out here do you really need this I don't know I feel like it's very it's like a thick plastic so it probably cost them a decent amount I would have said like ditch this to lower the price if it did lower the price that's just me here we have the palette these colors oh my gosh you guys this color scheme like gives me life I think it is absolutely beautiful I love the mix of the purples and then the warm browns the warm oranges you have this really like pumpkin-y orange over here with a blazing you get eight mattes six pressed pearls and the pressed pearls are Nefertiti and Royal and Angelic and Cashmere you're getting three duochrome toppers so that is Celestial Twilight and retrograde and I stink and love these toppers. I think they are so cool I'm wearing Twilight today and they are Stunning like really really different and cool and then you also get the glitter in here, which is a very interesting It's like a pressed glitter. You do have to use a glitter glue with it You can't just like slap it on your eye So I used this the other day underneath my eyes in my Sephora VIB sale and it came out really nice Let's pretend I did not just go through half that video without any lip shade on <laughs> I love the shimmers in here I will do some swatches for you guys so you can see so that right there is blood moon really pretty like kind of coppery red shade and then we have Nefertiti, which is a light gold shade. It has some chunks of glitter in there, but it is beautiful. Then we have Cashmere. Super creamy. Then I will do some of the mattes for you guys. So we have Eden. And right here, which is more of like a peachy kind of matte color. Musk, which is more of a cool tone brown shade right there and then blazing is that like pumpkin super duper fall shade so that one right there is blazing and then let's do saffron 
so that one right there is saffron these are not the best swatches i'm kind of just like free handing it this shade i'm obsessed with this is amethyst it's that bright purple that really stands out in the palette and i'm wearing that all over my lid today and Purples are hard, but I think she did a pretty good job on it. Okay, next up, I'm going to show you guys how I got this eye look, and I honestly love it so, so much. It's like one of my favorite looks I've created in a couple of months, and I think it is just super beautiful. Definitely just reminds me of a sunset, and I think that's the whole point of this palette is just to get that really pretty, like, gradient sunset eye with those warm tones, those purples. I really in love, so I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Now let's get on into it. So I already went ahead and primed my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. So here we go. It's so pretty. And then there's this. Alright, so here's the palette. And I'm going to set my entire eye with this shade right here, Desert Sand. It looks like it could be a pretty decent matte shade. I'm going to dust this over the entire eye all the way up to the brow bone a little bit darker than I'm used to for setting but it's not bad it would probably be the perfect setting shade for like someone who was a little wee bit darker skin tone than me it's pretty powdery like when I put my brush in you can see how much powder kind of spilled out so there are a couple transition shades in here you have musk which is kind of like a cooler tone transition shade you have Eden which is like a peachy kind of color so I think I'm gonna go into Eden right here because it's the most neutral shadow Put this into my crease and this is like a Sonia Kashuk Ooh, this is pretty blending brush from Target I got this forever and ever ago but her brushes last a long time going back and forth in my crease with this and this laid down really nicely on the eye and the pigmentation on this is super nice look at that that is so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is like the perfect warm tone transition shade right there. Kind of just winging this. I don't really know what I want to create. I'm going to have to see as I go. Super, super pretty and pigmented. I'm really into this. Okay, next, I want to go in with that deeper shade, and I'm going to take like a smaller crease brush. Okay, so I'm going to take this right here. This is a Crown C200 Deluxe Crease Brush. It's a little bit smaller of a crease brush, and I'm going to go into Amber, which is right next to the shade we just used. Top off the excess, and I'm going to focus this also in the crease. So this is going to be a bit tighter on the eye. But it's going to give like a really pretty sunset look. Desert Dusk. Now I get it. I'm so clever. You can also kind of push this out into your eye. That is so pretty. I am really enjoying these shadows so far. I had a feeling I was going to like this eyeshadow palette. And that's why I really wanted it. Just doing the same thing on this eye. Just focus this in the crease and go back and forth. These are so bomb. If you feel like you lost any bit of Eden, you could just go back and touch it up. It's not like a big deal if you have to go back over it. But then I want to do my little thing I've been loving lately. It's my fake cut crease as I call it. It's really easy and it's like the best easiest way to do a cut crease in my opinion. So I'm going to show you guys how I go about doing it. Use any concealer for this that you want. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape. This is in light sand. So you don't want to use a natural hairbrush for this. Use like kind of like a concealer brush, like a flat concealer brush. What we're going to do is just take the concealer and put it on the lid. But try not to go past the crease. It's like you're just cleaning up the lid, essentially, and making a sharp line. And it's easy to do with this brush because it's so pointed. Not pointed, but flat, if you guys know what I mean. So, like, see how nicely that cleaned up? Also good if you're, like, messier with your crease shades. You can fix it up. I'm going to do the same exact thing 
for the other eye, I'm just taking a little bit of shape tape and just clean up your lid with this. So I like to just try and stay right below my crease with the concealer and then drag it down. Give that look of that very like sharp cut eye, but not like as intense as you may have seen. I feel like this eye came out a little more intense, but. And I don't go all the way over here. I kind of stop because I put another shade in the outer third of my eye. I want to do a purple shade. I think I want to do amethyst with twilight over it. So it's like the brightest purple shade in the palette. I feel like your eye goes right to it. Let's go ahead and pack this on. Ooh, okay, wow. And literally all you have to do is just follow along where you put that concealer. This color is pretty vibrant for a purple. So far, I'm impressed with it. Purples can be very patchy. You do have to go over this one. That is so pretty with the crease color. Oh my goodness. I love this combo. It's such like a rich, vibrant purple. And then I'm going to go on to this eye. This eye was super easy to put on the purple. This one was like a little more patchy. I don't know why. Go ahead and put Twilight on top of it. I think I'm going to just use my finger though. So here's Twilight. Another standout shade in the palette. Reminds me a little bit of MAC Stars and Rockets, which is like one of my favorite, favorite colors from MAC. Oh my gosh, that is so stunning. Oh, I love. I want to like bathe in this color. It's like a really pretty blue tone to it. Yes. So this color is only supposed to be meant as a topper. It's not like a standalone shade. Just in case you guys like got the palette and you were like, what the heck, why is this like transparent? It's only supposed to be layered over other colors like this purple. I'm obsessed with this. I think this is so, so unique. Here on the bottom is MAC Stars and Rockets and right above that is Huda Beauty Twilight. I swatch this in such an awkward position so right up top is Huda and the bottom is Max Stars and Rockets. I feel like though I might put a little bit of Oud, Oud in the outer corner just for a little tiny bit of deepening. It doesn't need it but just because I want to see oh yes oh my god it's so pretty oh Wow. I do want a matte brow bone shade, something a little bit lighter. So I'm just going into this Lux Nude palette from Beauty Treats and I'm taking the lightest shade in here and I'm just tapping this on the brow bone. I do black in my waterline, so I'm just taking this Stila Kajal pencil. Okay, I'm gonna do some liner. I'm taking my Jordana Cat Eye Liner. It's always like I always do it the wrong way, it goes this way. Do a wing, of course. been very into liquid eyeliners lately as opposed to gel. I just think they're quicker. Just 
do a little bit of color on my lower lash line. So I think I'm going to take Eden first. I'm just going to run that along the lash line. I'm going to take a little bit of Amber, which is a darker shade right here. I'm going to put that right in the outer corner. And I'm going to use the Essence Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara. I feel like I have so many mascaras open right now. And it's like making me nervous. Like I feel like I have to rotate them every day because they're going to go bad. <laughs> the only thing with liquid liner is that it gets stuck in your lashes. And then it makes it harder to put mascara on. Okay, so I went ahead and put on some falsies. I felt like I needed them. I don't know. I felt like the look kind of called for falsies. And I used the Andrea 45 lashes. I got these in a duo pack. How pretty are these lashes? I really, really like them because they don't, like, take anything away from my look. Gosh, you guys, I am in love with the eyes. I'll finish up the rest of my face, and then I will come back and chat with you guys again. See you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, I am back. I finished up the rest of my face makeup. I'm wearing the Too Faced Peach Comfort Matte Foundation. And for blush, of course, I had to pull out my Luminoso because I feel like this is the perfect blush to wear with the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. They pair so nicely together. I'm super impressed with this palette. I'm very happy this is in my collection. I can find myself reaching for this palette a ton. Colors are just so, so beautiful in my opinion. And I do not own something that has this type of variety in it. I feel like also this is the perfect fall palette. I definitely see why everyone was raving about this and saying how good it was. And at first I was like, I don't know, like, is it really going to be everything it's cracked up to be? And I definitely think it is. Although you don't have a black shade in here. Um, and also maybe like one more deeper brown color shade. I feel like maybe those two would have made it a fully well-rounded palette. At least putting one more darker brown shade um, maybe instead of angelic because we already had that in the rose gold palette so i feel like they could have done a different shade instead of repeating the same one especially because most of us already own the rose gold palette if you are a fan of the huda beauty shadow palettes or just her cosmetics in general so overall though i think this palette is definitely worth it i think you should totally pick this up during the vib sale if you've been eyeing it definitely get it because it is a pricier palette I would only buy this one with a gift card like I did or two during the VIP sale because it is $65 and that is that's a lot of money to spend on an eyeshadow palette and I just love the way that my eye look came out today it blended out so easily I didn't have any issues they were a little bit powdery when you dip your brush in but besides that the colors are very pigmented very blendable and I love that I can create so many different looks using those transformation shades those glitter shades and I just can't wait to create more looks with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little review and tutorial with the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk eyeshadow palette. Let me know if you guys are going to pick this up during the VIB sale. Don't forget to subscribe. It'll be the first link down below in my description box. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, make sure you turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And thank you guys as always so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next one. Bye!